Many of us have grown up playing the Mortal Kombat games over the years, all versions of them to be precise, and the latest movie seems like released at the perfect time. Just as the player base was growing exponentially, so fans have been eager to know if a sequel is coming. And that's why today we're gonna talk about everything we know about a potential sequel of the Mortal Kombat movie and where it might take us. Recap The first movie's ending sets up a continuation of the story and possibly a huge new character joining in the universe, a detail about the franchise for which we'll reveal more a bit later in the video. The 2021 Mortal Kombat reboot from Warner Brothers may be getting a sequel, or maybe an even bigger universe, an entire franchise on the horizon, and interest in what comes next for everyone who's here to know what is gonna happen in the future. Simon McCoy's take on the franchise proved to be a huge success, and we'd not be surprised if we see him taking on the mantle of yet another movie soon. After all, as we said before, the first movie's ending has a strong setup for a sequel, a sequel that would bring in at least one missing figure who was controversially overlooked for the first chapter. This reboot became the third iteration of the live-action adaptation in this franchise, which fixed many of the issues of the original that by no means became a cult classic. The predecessor of the 2021's movie Annihilation, released in 1997, was a more problematic movie to say the least. Mortal Kombat delivers on the promised R rating sticking to a mostly faithful adaptation model which brings iconic characters to life as well as expanding the lore with the introduction of new mysterious characters, Cole Young, whose identity became one of the biggest questions at hand even before the movie was officially released. With the lore of the world established and his story set in place, the next expansion of this crazy world would be the key if the franchise wants to succeed. No one wants another reboot, right? Stranger Worlds and more of a setup for the universe spanning tournament at the heart of this universe are some of the main reasons for the success of this franchise in the future of the movie industry. So is the sequel happening? There's certainly a potential for it to say the least, as there's so much lore to be explored in the sequel, with the first movie already setting up the starting destination from where the sequel should pick up from. And we're not talking about one sequel, there's a lot more potential with this franchise, but starting with at least one sequel should be good enough and take things slowly for anything that happens after that. Not to mention spin-offs, for which there's so much source material already out there, thus if a sequel never happens, it'll not be because of not enough material to go on. Is Mortal Kombat 2 happening? As we mentioned before, there's no concrete information about a sequel as of right now, however, it does seem likely to happen, which is a good sign. And while Mortal Kombat 2021 wasn't a runaway hit in theaters, it did pretty well by pandemic standards, especially for an R-rated movie. The theater outing was not enough to make a whole lot of budget, but the movie itself managed to make the movie's budget and a little bit extra, but the fact that Mortal Kombat proved to be a big success on HBO Max surely means a lot for Warner Brothers and New Line Cinema. Something to go on for the two parties. There'll be no opposition left to fight. We will already be victorious. A follow-up tease There are no mid-credits or post-credit scenes in Mortal Kombat, but we do get a major tease about where a follow-up movie would go. The final scene of the movie reveals a lot about a potential sequel, after protagonist Cole Young and Earthworld's other champions defeat Shang Tsung's forces, we see Cole leaving his cage fighting days behind him, with him heading to Los Angeles to look for someone, with the camera panning to a poster on a wall right before the scene cuts to black. Mortal Kombat fans won't need any introduction as to what character the poster is pointing out to. Yep, it's Johnny Cage, an iconic character from the video game series. So why is Cole searching for Johnny Cage? Well, Thunder God, Lord Raiden, wants Cole and his other champions to find others like them to defend Earth from Shang Tsung because the latter has already said that he'll be returning with an army next time. Thus, all help will be needed. This was probably one of the smallest but the most significant hints as to what will happen in a sequel if it ever comes out, and we're lacking the odds. The only thing missing is a sequel getting the green light. Flawless victory. Release date. The latest iteration needed decades to come to the big screen while also getting delayed by the COVID-19 pandemic, so it's unlikely that if a sequel gets announced, it would take as long as the previous movie. If the production of the original is anything to go on, a reasonable turnover of a couple of years wouldn't be expected, even allowing a lengthier post-production period than McCoy's initial four-month filming schedule. 
Thus, 2023 would not be out of the question if we get a confirmation about a sequel sometime soon. For what it's worth, recent reports suggest that multiple Mortal Kombat follow-up movies are in development, including sequels and spin-offs, which is mainly due to HBO Max's release of the movie. And it's one of the biggest project services history, meaning that there's a high chance that Warner Brothers will make a sequel its priority. <laughs> Cast. The first movie saw multiple characters being killed off, but one thing is for sure, Louis Tan's Cole Young will be returning for the sequel alongside Jessica McNamee's Sonya Blade, Tadanobu Asano's Raiden, Macad Brooks's Jax, Ludi Lin's Liu King, and possibly Hiroyuki Sanada's Scorpion, especially if Joe Taslim is back for multiple sequels. Then there's Chen Han's Shang Tsung, who will presumably still be the main villain of the franchise, after the ending the first movie presented itself with and the way his character went into the dark. Meanwhile, WWE star The Miz wants to be the actor to play Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat 2, with Ryan Reynolds also briefly rumored to be playing the character of Cage. However, we think that it is impossible because of his busy schedule with all the other projects, particularly his Deadpool character now with him joining the MCU. We're sure that he'll be part of more movies per year. This is everything we managed to dig up when the cast side of things is considered, but we're sure that more and more actors will be announced as soon as a sequel is confirmed. I know, I've seen you kick his ass before, but he's got a laser now. Watch out for that. Oh, I got an idea. Plot The ending of the first movie sets up further invasions by Shan Tsung if his last words are taken into consideration, as he seeks to use his outworld allies to prevent a fair Mortal Kombat tournament from happening and his inevitable defeat. With this in mind, Cole Young and his fellow surviving Earthrealm champions are sent to round up more like themselves, more champions bearing the Dragon Tattoo mark, which bestows them with special abilities, a journey Cole Young would go on with him starting with Cage whom he tracked to Hollywood. Shang Tsung, on the other hand, will no doubt retire to his realm to lick his wounds and bolster his team, possibly looking to revive his most feared warrior, Sub-Zero. One thing that has been confirmed for the story of the sequel is that an actual tournament will be showcased which will surely please a lot of fans who were left without it in the first movie. They tried to kill my family. Help us. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the Mortal Kombat movie and if a sequel is ever confirmed. Where would you like to see the story go? And also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.